Hello and welcome to Creative by Nature. My name is Donna. Okay, so for our first high-end Christmas topiary, I'm using a tin from Dollar Tree as well as a Christmas tree from Dollar Tree. I'm filling the bottom of the tin with some rocks and then I'm going to be placing just some random chunks of dry floral foam and gluing that into place. This next part is optional. Remove the base from the tree and then I'm using one of those long barbecue skewer sticks from Dollar Tree and I'm going to place that up the metal tube and then I'm going to be gluing it into place. I'm just gluing it both at the top end and the bottom end and then I am going to trim off the stick and this will allow me to have a really nice and secure stem to place into my foam in the tin. I had this antique gold spray in my stash and that's what I'm gonna be spraying the hydrangeas with. And an alternative would be this Krylon metallic paint. Uh, just use whatever you like. I have these lovely fall mums from Dollar Tree as well. And here are the hydrangeas all sprayed. And I'm also gonna be using those leaves that I had in my stash. So you're gonna start out by placing your tree into the foam. You can see I struggled a little bit there. <laughs> that was just from the rocks on the bottom. But I'm gonna use some hot glue to make sure that that stem is nice and secure into the foam. And then you're gonna cover it all up with some Spanish moss. Now I'm just going in and fluffing up the tree. I'm adding some additional stems from another tree that I had in my stash and I'm just going to glue those extra stems around the trunk of this tree and that'll just help to fill it in a bit better. If you're new to my channel, I want to say welcome and I'd love for you to join my community by tapping on the subscribe button as well as the bell to keep up to date with everything I have to share. For an added touch of elegance, I am going to use these battery operated lights from Dollar Tree. I am tucking the battery pack into the tin and covering it up with the moss. Just make sure that you can access that pack again so you can change out the batteries as well as access that switch. And then you can just wind the lights around your tree. I'm now trimming the stems of those leaves and adding some hot glue and just placing them in and around the tree. And now I'm going to add the clusters of hydrangea again, just adding a touch of hot glue and sticking them into the tree. This is a really easy way to create a topiary with a very lovely high end look. I wanted to give this piece a bit of a shabby chic romantic look so I am going to make some loopy bows out of some cream colored lace trim that I had and I'm leaving the tails nice and long and weaving those into the tree. I'm 
also adding just some double looped bows and adding those as well. I really love how this looks with this little tree topiary. I love how this tree looks. It looks very classy and elegant and it was easy to do. Today's video is in collaboration with Heidi Sonbo DIY and this is part of her summer DIY spotlight and she invited me to join her. Please pop over to her channel. You guys, she's almost at 100,000 subscribers. I'm so excited for her. She has worked so hard to get where she is and I'd love for you to go and show her some support. Okay, so on to our next topiary. This one is a little more advanced, but it is sure a gorgeous piece. So again, I'm starting out with some foam. I highly suggest that you use dry foam, not the wet foam as that will crumble apart on you. So keep that in mind. I glued that into place into another Dollar Tree tin and I'm adding the rocks for some weight. I found this branch on the beach and I love the natural color of it. I'm just placing it in the middle of the foam that I glued into place. I am going to generously add some glue to that stick and put it into the foam again. And make sure you do add a lot of glue and that will really keep that stem secure. Some options for you to use for the top sphere is a styrofoam ball. Make sure it's not the compact styrofoam. You can also use the dry floral foam and I'll just show you what I do. So I create a square block uh, using chunks of the dry foam. You can see I'm cutting it down and then I'll just be gluing the pieces together. This is a great option if you can't find any styrofoam balls. So this is typically what I do when I create toe prairies. So I'm going to just place that block on the top of my stem. I like to cut a hole out, it just sometimes makes it easier to put the stem on. And then you're gonna generously add some glue to keep it in place. Now that you have your foam block in place, you can just take a knife and trim off the corners and some of the edges and that just helps to round off the block of foam. Here's a little tip for you all. This is some florist wire and I'm creating some bobby pin type shapes out of the wire. I use this to anchor my moss onto my foam blocks, then you don't have to use any hot glue. I'm just adding a bit more foam to my pot at the base of my topiary, and that'll just give me a bit more workspace to cover the foam up with some moss. And now you can just go in and add some moss at the bottom to cover up the foam as well as add some to the sphere on the top of your branch. Use those floral pins that you created out of the florist wire to anchor all your moss into place.
Okay, so now I'm gonna be using a Dollar Tree Christmas tree. I am cutting the branches off. This is an inexpensive way to create some Christmas arrangements. I'm then gonna cut the longer branches in half, add a little bit of hot glue to the end and stick them into your foam. Here is another little tip for you all. Pretend that there's a center to your foam and make sure all your stems point in towards that center. That way here you'll have a nice even look to your arrangement. You can see here how all my stems are pointing in towards the middle of the foam. Continue to add some of these faux greenery to your sphere until you have the desired look. Just make sure you leave some room for your florals. Here are some beautiful roses that I had in my stash. They were from Dollar Tree and they are spray painted with that antique gold. I'm just trimming off the ends and poking those roses into my foam block. I'm now going to add some of these fall mums that I just picked up recently from Dollar Tree, just trimming them up. And I'm just using one at a time. And so I had removed the extra blossom and added a sturdy stem from the remaining little wire bits that I'm snipping off. That way here, it makes it nice and easy to poke the floral stem into your moss ball. And here is what our topiary is looking for. Like so far, I had a little visitor. Yes, my cat. He could not resist jumping up there and checking out what I was doing. It was a hot day and he wanted to find a nice cool spot. So I had these beautiful champagne gold ornaments in my stash. They were from Dollarama, but I know I've seen them at Dollar Tree. So I'm just removing the hanging portion of the ornament, generously adding some hot glue and pushing them into the foam. have this beautiful sheer ribbon in my stash and I wanted to give this topiary a really nice elegant look so I am creating three larger loopy bows and then about nine of just double looped bows and I'm leaving the tails along on these as well. Once you have all your bows made, you can start to add them to your topiary. I like to add a couple at the bottom of the ball on the top there. And then I also sometimes like to decorate down by the pot. That part is optional. Um, it's just a preference. So now I'm just gonna go in and continue to add my bows into place, just 
randomly throughout the arrangement. Now just trim off the tails and there you have a gorgeous, high-end, very elegant topiary for the Christmas season. I think these arrangements would be gorgeous for a winter wedding. You can tweak it so it could be appropriate for any season. I really love how this Christmas tree topiary came together as well. You can change the colors of it to suit your decor. I would love to know which one is your favorite. I want to say a big huge thank you to Heidi for joining me in this collaboration and I highly recommend you go and checking her out. She is such an inspiration. So I want to thank you all for being here and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.